पार्डन मी आई डिडेंट सी यू दे एक्सक्यूज मी आई एम सॉरी टू कीप यू हैनी लॉन्गर बट आई मस्ट आस्क यू आर आर यू अूमन दैट्स वॉट आई थॉट बट आई डिडेंट वॉन्ट टू अज्यूम I know that it is seen as rude to do so in Terran culture. Oh, it is Terran culture, correct? Or do you prefer human culture? I have heard both ways and the humans I have asked prior to meeting you have all replied that they have no preference either way. Either is fine. Hmm. Then I suppose that's another mark in the no preference category. My results are both inconclusive but simultaneously are already solved. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't mean to keep you from wherever you are going, but I tend to fall prey to my wandering thoughts. which ironically enough is why i am doing just as i said and preventing you from whatever task however i am more curiosities that i wish to inquire about and i was hoping that you would be able to help me correct it is in regard to you being a human I have some questions concerning what I have been told about a certain form of physical touch that humans used to convey emotion. I am referring to the act in which two humans press their lips together to display their attraction to each other. I believe it's called kissing. I'm glad to hear that I was worried I was pronouncing it wrong but yes I do have several questions if you are willing to answer them I would like to ask some questions in regard to such an act For starters I would like to know when and between whom would this action be appropriate Mhm Ah, mm-hmm. uh, I see. That makes wonderful sense. You have a very thorough way of explaining such type of relationships. Thank you. My next question is in regard to how it feels. Many humans describe the action to be pleasurable to the point that the thought of kissing someone may distract them from an objective that is currently in front of them. I was wondering what physical sensations kissing entails that can elicit such a powerful response. Could you please explain what kissing is like in your personal experience? Hmm. Hmm. I see. Oh, that makes sense. I can see why many people enjoy such an activity. Thank you for both your knowledge and your experiences in the area. It makes it much easier to understand. Now, my final question may be asking too much, but I would regret it if I didn't task. Could would you be willing to kiss me? So I may see what it feels like and have a better reference as to how it feels. A first and experience if you will. Ah, thank you. I greatly appreciate your help. a more private place if that's what you think would be best then i'm happy to oblige from what i have seen there is no one in the break room behind you would that be sufficient oh that's a good idea 
I would hate for someone to walk in on us. It would likely make it harder to focus on my inquiries. Is there anything I need to do before we can kiss? Any invitation or something of the sort? Put my hands on you? In what way? To hold you? I see. Is there any particular way I must hold you? In any way that feels natural? Hmm. That's fairly confusing. Given that I have no reference for such a thing. Oh, right here then. I understand. Thank you for your guidance. So, now that my hands are on you and your hands are on me, do we kiss? I see. Then, shall we begin? Your eyes, your pupils are dilated and your gaze is focused on my mouth. I can also feel your pulse right here at the junction of your jaw and neck. Your body temperature is increasing too. Is kissing someone like this truly so enjoyable? I can't deny that I can now see why this is so satisfying. If I may be honest, I'm enjoying this as well. Could we perhaps continue? Less for scientific reasons and more for pleasure. You seem oddly flustered right now, by which I mean you look to be in more than in a simple excited state. Am I correct in thinking that what we have been doing may have played a role in that? Ha, huh, right. This is usually done between people who are more familiar with each other, correct? Or at the very least, between people who intend to participate in intimate acts. I see. Then this may be belated question. But may I ask for your name? Oh... No, there is nothing wrong, as you say. At least you have committed no error towards me. Rather, you have done me a kindness by fulfilling my curiosity, even though it meant extending yourself beyond your duties to do so. You have done nothing besides aid in the research of another scientist. However, I believe that I have made a rather contemptible error. Earlier when I inquired as to whether you were human and if I could entertain my curiosity with you, I failed to think logically. 
there are very few human members of this crew less than 20 i believe and i have either met or at the very minimum seen all of them all except the human senior medical scientist who is to be the person i will be conducting my research under given that there is only one human on this ship who i have not identified and you are a human on this ship that i haven't previously known i fear i have reached a conclusion unfortunately this conclusion would answer both who you are and the identity of the person i will be working under <clears throat> to make myself clear i suppose i should simply ask this would you happen to be one of firelight senior medical scientist i had feared as such then i suspect that you will have to report this incident which i fully understand however though it may not mean much I would like to inform you that I had no intentions of soliciting you in an attempt to further my career. My only intentions were to find answers to questions I have had about human interactions with someone who I You are not going to report me? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I have been looking forward to working on this project for a while and honestly to working with someone as impressive as you yourself. I am flattered that you think so highly of me as well. Though I believe that we should probably keep today's meeting a secret between the two of us. Otherwise rumors might start to spread and should that happen I doubt we would be allowed to work together. agreed you are someone i feel that i would greatly enjoy working with and i would regret having such an opportunity pulled away from me i'm glad we are in agreement then i'm looking forward to working with you perhaps if i am lucky we could possibly answer a few more of my curiosities ah but i'm getting ahead of myself i appreciate your assistance today and i look forward to seeing you again soon if i am lucky